Hey, what's up, people out there in YouTube world? Kevin C back with another tutorial video for you. Today, I'm going to talk about sample chopping. Um, I had a coworker ask me how I chopped my samples for FL Studio, and I've told him that I've used two programs in the past uh, eight or nine years. The first program I started with was called Beat Creator, and um, FL Studio used to sell that program before they came out with their uh, internal programs like uh, SliceX and F uh, Fruity Slicer. But I still like pre-chopping my samples before I import them into FL Studio. So I'm kind of like a, you know, creature of, of, of habit, you know, when it comes to chopping samples. But the program I'm going to focus on today is called Recycle. Some people already out there already know all about Recycle. But this is for the people who don't know about it, you know, who want to learn to learn how to chop samples and import it into their uh, software. And Recycle saves in a format called Rex, which is widely recognized by a lot of software out there in the um, music industry. Um, I know Machine can read Rex files. The newer line of MP Studios like the Touch, Renaissance, and Studio, their software can read Rex files too. I mean, some people would go ahead and chop in those programs, which is cool, which is probably more efficient. But I'm still, I still like to focus on chopping my sample before I open the program. That's just me. So I'm gonna show y'all this style and show you how to import it and show you how it works. So let's uh, let's jump into it. I will include a copy of Recycle below. So feel free to um, download it and use it. You know. It's so always good to have more tools in your arsenal, you know. So let me close my logo. And here is Recycle right here. Uh, it's the program that it, it will be inside. Like here's the folder. And you have the setup and the key gen right here. Um, you set your program up. You run it. And then um, it's going to ask for a serial. And this key generator will give you the serial. You pretty much copy it and paste it into the... Um, into the little spot that uh, Recycle is gonna ask it, ask for it, so um, that will make the program fully activated on your computer. Now I'm gonna let you know that your computer might read that key gen as a virus. It's very common because if you have a good virus protection program, it's gonna be like, hey, that's a virus, don't open it. Or some will even go as far as deleting it before you get to it. But you need to know that key gen is not a virus. That's called a false positive. It is not a virus. It's actually just a serial key generator that's all it is and um you may have to pause your um virus protection program for like three to five minutes while you install it and run it and put that uh, code in there when you're done you can just turn your virus protection right back on and then bam you got recycled you know so let me close this out and um when you run recycle it's gonna ask for the uh the file it can only read uh, AIF, WAV, other Rex files, REX, RX2, but um, I deal mainly in WAV. So if you don't have your MP3 as a WAV, you're going to have to convert it, you know, if you don't already have it in WAV form. Um, there's plenty of sites online that, that do quick online conversions. You have online converter, and they do it really quick. Um, if, maybe if you have Adobe, uh, you can do a batch conversion real fast and turn an MP3 to a WAV, but it has to be WAV or an AIF file for Recycle to read it, which I don't mind because WAVs are normally higher quality than um, MP3s anyway. Um, so here is, uh, I got this Bob Jane Nautilus WAV right here, so I'm going to open it up. Let me see, open up anyway. So there it is. There is the file. Um, let me stretch the, stretch the screen out for y'all so we can see it. And that is the entire wave right there. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, pretty much, it's really simple. You can stretch it out by hitting this little plus symbol. And you can grab this window and scroll anywhere on the sample to put your chops this little pin right here that's uh, your slice tool so wherever you put a slice is where it will be when you save this file um, 
recycle. I think it can do 125 chops before, you know, it, w it won't read any chop past 125 in most programs, as far as I know. But in FL Studio, you have a limit of 125. So if you do 125 chops here, or if you do 140, 15 of those aren't going to be seen, and those are going to be on the back end. Um, the way around that is to save the, uh, do the chops and save the file in multiple, um, multiple names with the different chops. That's how that's a workaround. Like if I did this, I would save this as Bob James one with 125 slices. Then I go back and do the end of it and save that as Bob James two. And that would be the, you know, all the slices. They'd be in two separate files, but you would have all your slices and you can still import them in the FL studio. But um, here's the thing, wherever you put your slice is where it will be when you save. I mean, it's really easy, y'all. I mean, I know people, some people front on software, but times have changed and it is easy to slice. You know, it's easy to cut a sample. So I'm just gonna show y'all. <laughs> wherever I put that slice is where the sample will play from, you know? Um, let me see. I'm gonna throw a couple more in here. I'm doing some blind slicing, y'all. I'm not even really trying to make a beat. We just kind of doing a tutorial. So, throw a couple here. As long as I see some straight lines, I'm gonna throw a slice there. Let's do a couple more. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I can't help it, y'all. I just love slicing. All right, and we'll stop. Okay, so we got those slices in there, and you need to know if you you can go back and preview it by hitting the arrow and testing your slices. And if you don't like uh, where it is, you can actually move it. I have a little lag going on, but uh, you can move the arrow. I mean, the little lock thing. You can position it in a different space if you don't like. Uh, you go back and you fine tune your slices and when you're done fine tuning them and you got all the things you want out of the track and everything's isolated go to file and save as it's going to ask you for bars i don't know how many bars is in this wave file i just don't so i'm gonna throw in a random number 45 i don't know and i'm gonna press ok and then it's going to ask me, do I want to save? Uh, yes, I want to save. And it's already got it listed right here. I already have the file slice, but I'm going to save over that one from a previous tutorial I was trying to do. So we're going to save over that one. Click yes. It's processing and it just saved. So boom, we got that. Now let's go to FL Studio and open the Rex file. So I got FL Studio 9, don't judge me, y'all. Okay. The program in FL Studio that reads Rex is SliceX. And most of it, if you right click on Sampler and go to Insert, go to your S's, you'll see SliceX. I have a lot of uh, VSTs, y'all, so excuse me. But SliceX is right here in the S's, and that's SliceX. And to open up the Rex file, you would go to this little uh, icon right here with the little disc. Some people probably don't even know what a disc is these days, but uh, load sample. I click on that, load sample, and look for my Rex file. Where's the Rex file? Where's the Rex file? There it is. And click open. And wait for it. There it is. There is my sample with all the slices. And I have my MIDI controller to the side. If I press, you know, the keys, it's gonna play the slices. Like, let's see. See, that's it. I'm done. I sliced the sample and I saved it as a Rex and I imported it into FL Studio and it's ready to, you know, be, be turned into a dope beat, you know? Just that simple, y'all. Um, Hey, if y'all got any questions, hit me below, and I will try to respond as quick as I can. But this is another Kiev NC tutorial, and I'm out of here. Peace.